Hey, hello everyone and thanks for joining us for this um, second installment of the final demos for the Jenkins Google Summer of Code 2020. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. I believe you can see my screen. Let's start yes, the presentation. Okay, all right. So today is the second installment. We had uh, demos yesterday and we have demos today. So first of all, Jenkins has been participating in the Google Summer of Code uh, this year. And uh, there will be a short introduction to, to that. Then we're going to have the demonstrations by our students of the work they accomplished the work they accomplished during um, this program. And we're gonna have Q&A at the end of every presentation as well as at the end. So this is our fourth year in Google Summer of Code. We started in 2016 and we have grown ever since. There's actually thousands and thousands of students who have participated in the, in the overall program. It's the largest open source um, open source program uh, in existence. And we're very proud to participate in the Google Summer of Code. This year, the Jenkins organization had 20 different project ideas that were proposed by the community. And we accepted seven students for the program this year. And it's they've been working hard with their mentors to uh, on their projects for the past four months. And today, we're, uh, the students are presenting their work. So the projects this year are the ones shown on your, uh, on your monitor, the Custom Jenkins Distribution Service, Git Plugin Performance Improvements, GitHub Checks for Jenkins Plugins, Machine Learning Plugins for Data Science, Jenkins Windows Services, YAML config support, external fingerprint storage, and Jenkins X apps add-ons consolidation. You're gonna find the details of these projects on the link provided um, at the bottom of the slide. So we invite you to visit those pages. And we want to thank our students for participating this year. Uh, Kezi, Rishab, Logi, Pudika, Sumit, Zikwan, and Sladin. We want to also thank our um, dedicated mentors who have helped the students along the way. We want to thank everybody who participated in the, in the chat rooms, in the mailing list, um, as subject matter experts, giving advice, giving community feedback, helping our students. Thank you very much. And thank you also to the org admins for uh, organizing the program this year. You can find more resources, as I mentioned earlier, on our website. We have recordings of uh, the JSOC uh, meetings. You can find them on YouTube. We have blog posts about the different, that stu students have written blog posts about their progress. You can find that on the Jenkins IO blog. And these slides are available on the link you see. Final demos is yesterday and today. So we're on the second day of the final demos. Uh, here's the link to the abstracts and the links to the demos. And we're gonna skip to part two. Yesterday, these are the demos we had. Let's skip to part two or day two. And today we're gonna have a presentation by um, Logi on machine learning plugins for data science. The next one's going to be Jenkins Windows Services, YAML config support, followed by external fingerprint storage, and then Jenkins X application add-ons consolidation. All right, would anyone like to add anything before we start? I would like uh, to just thank uh, all contributors um, because yeah, we had a lot of awesome projects this year. All of them have delivered uh, 
key changes uh, to the Jenkins ecosystem. So uh, there is a lot of highly anticipated uh, features for users. There are also architecture changes, which help us uh, to move the project forward. And yeah, uh, from our admin perspective, it was uh, a great year because everything was working uh, really well. And thanks a lot to everyone who made it possible. Thanks, Oleg. Well, um, I'm ready to uh, hand this over for the first demo of this session.